Og of Fun and Thee is the deepest cave in the UK. It is a truly magnificent cave system, adorned with a profusion of stalactites and stalagmites, and at its deepest level, probably the best underground streamway in the country. Its 42 kilometres of passage have been explored by many thousands of cavers since it was discovered in 1946, but there are areas of the cave which have been rarely visited. One of these areas is the Prokofiev series, which lies only a few metres from Timo's table on one of the main trade routes through the cave. The obstacles that deter most people are a very tight eye hole squeeze, an intimidating traverse and an exposed 7 metre free climb. This easy climb up leads after a short crawl to the first obstacle. Okay. <laughs> leads almost immediately to the start of the intimidating traverse through the tall tight rift. This body shaped rift is about 15 feet tall and funnel shaped and if this isn't intimidating enough there is a six foot section in the middle completely devoid of either hand or footholds. The fear of slipping and becoming wedged is always uppermost in the mind. It was impossible to carry equipment or camera boxes through the rift so gear had to be ferried across on a rope. A tall sandy floored rift passage is followed until the sound of running water can be heard. This is followed upstream to reach a shower inlet in a small chamber. A short climb through the water leads to a further small chamber. From here a passage to the right leads to a tall chamber with a very narrow rift in the far wall. A bold 7 metre climb up the rift reaches a high level passage. The rest of the team, a ladder was rigged from a natural thread belay. Okay. A short section of passage then leads to a pitch down into five mile chamber. Five Mile Chamber has been described as feeling like one of the remotest places in Ogofun and Thee. It ends in a calcited choke. Knowing that this was likely to be our only visit to Five Mile Chamber, we spent some time taking photographs. Its delicate sediment deposits have been little disturbed since it was first found.
finally it was time to make our way back out. Brendan never can resist a photographic opportunity and the fact that Graham got thoroughly soaked in the process was of course a bonus. It's always pleasant coming out of the cave to be greeted by the green clad mountainside, but while we were enjoying our adventure underground, snow which had not been forecast was falling thick and fast. Did you enjoy your trip today? <laughs>